Hi everybody, I'm Brian McMaster. This is Proactive Spine. Let's floss that spine. Reach up as high as you can, elongate your body as much as you can. Side bend one time either way. Rotate one time either way. Extend and squat. Great. Step to the side, turn your foot in. Body goes in the opposite direction. Step back, step to the side, turn your foot out. Rotate your body in the opposite direction. One time either way. Nice and easy. Very good. Okay, so another squat I wanna talk about today is one that's gonna help you activate the inner thigh muscles and hip flexors, connecting them with the lower core. We have a tendency to be all sprint athletes because we're leaning forward all day long. Our intent 99.9% .9 of the day, our whole lives is going forward. We do very little going backwards. Consequently, most of us use the outer leg, outer thigh, butt, and back to do most of our balancing control and our stomach, hip flexors, inner thigh, pretty much get shut off and overstretched. So we wanna start activating these and working on the balance right and left sides so that they can contribute to helping us be a little bit more upright and controlled in an upright neutral position, okay? So that squat is feet straight, shoulder width apart. If you need a little bit more balance, you can have your feet a little bit further apart. And then arms up over your head, shoulders down in the back, ribs down in the front. And then as you squat down, hips come back to help keep the knees behind the toes. And then the big difference here is, as I come down, I'm forcing my knees apart. And then as I come back up, I'm bringing my knees back together. What happens when I force those knees apart? A lot of times one side wants to do more than the other. So if you're side dominant, that foot's gonna turn out a little bit more on that dominant side because you're using that hip a little bit more. And you'll force that knee out, you'll use that hip, you'll stretch right up into the pelvis. This side is kind of a pivot side, you don't really get to it. Well, the correction is not just to turn that foot in or turn that thigh in and activate the abs. This is more part of it than turning the foot in, but the other big deal is you've gotta get this area loose and have it do its part of the work so you're not forcing this to do all of the work. So, the answer for that is feet straight, toes up, shift back, knees apart, but force that left knee apart if you're right side dominant to take some demand off this hip. And as you do that more and more, you'll loosen this up and it'll get easier and easier to move them both out equally and free up both sides of the pelvis. And that simple little activity will make it easier to walk and use both sides of the pelvis. Usually what's happening is we're pushing off with one more and than the other and pivoting with the other. And that's what creates that muscle um, weakness, tightness, strength and balance, okay? So knees apart on the way down, knees together on the way up. You're lengthening and contracting the inner thigh, hip flexors and abs on the way down, you're shortening on the way up, okay? Usually the dominant side is pretty good at lengthening on the way down, um, the non-dominant side not so good, so that'll help. But coming back up, the dominant side's usually overstretched and coming back up, it needs that extra shortening work. Okay, so it's good for shortening and lengthening those muscles, inner thigh, hip flexors, and abs. And then to challenge yourself a little bit more, you can do your squat, bring your hips right back up to the wall to stabilize you, get your elbows in between your knees and force that apart, okay? As you wanna progress a little bit more, okay? That's not something you do the first day, but you progress into it, okay? So that can help, and then afterwards, you might do something like this. And a lot of times I'll use the spinal flossing and this squat when I'm helping people or discussing how to increase your mileage walking or running. Walk and run a little bit, stop and do those three exercises, and then walk and run a little bit more. So you start to balance out and build endurance on both sides of the pelvis. Good. A lot of information. You can always rewind this and watch this one again, but that's a really important one um, to think about doing. I'm Brian McMaster. This is Proactive Spine. I'll see you tomorrow.